Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on straight bracket, which is this object. We are going to make this object. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing we need to go to document menu and we need to go to workspace units. We need to make sure that this is going to be millimeter. Um, mass supposed to be gram and the mass display is 0.2 two decimal points and click OK. Now we're going to choose the front plane and we're going to click the sketch and we can make the sketch here so I'm going to click the front face so let's begin. I'm going to use the line tool and I'm just drawing the lines trying to make them to height is the same. Okay let's complete it now I'm going to use tangent arc okay it is completed now let's put some dimensions I'm going to click the dimension tool and the height of this object is 90 millimeter and radius is 20 millimeter and then it is complete but the color didn't turn the black so if i click the escape and if i try to move it around as you can see it moves so let's use a geometric constraint which is the coincident let's use the coincident i'm gonna click to here and this line now it is fully constrained so click the and sketch. I'm going to click the extrude. Click the, the sketch object, and we're supposed to extrude them five millimeter. And click the isometric. Okay, the first part is completed. Now I'm going to click again the extruded face, and I'm going to click the sketch. I'm gonna make a hole to be able to make the hole I need to first use the point and decide the location of the hole so which is going to be center of this arc so as you can see this is the center concentric constraint it automatically pops up I'm gonna click the end sketch I'm gonna click the hole tool and I'm gonna choose the point and make sure it's supposed to be ISO if it is in your custom you need to change it to ISO and it's supposed to be clearance M5 and normal so when I click to OK and this part is completed when I check it again the hole make sure also choose the countersink so it's if it is simple change it to countersink OK these are the values supposed to be happen and okay now I'm gonna click I'm gonna choose the face of the extruded model and I'm gonna click this sketch so the new sketch sketch 3 and I'm gonna use let's use center point rectangle and I want them the center of here so let's make it automatically center them completed let's put the dimensions when I click the dimension here to here is 65 the height of the rectangle is 10 millimeter and the length of the oops escape dimension tool length of the rectangle is 20 millimeter so it turns the black it means it is fully constrained now we are going to extrude it i'm going to click the extrude i'm going to choose the rectangle and it should be extruded 12.5 millimeter 12.5 okay now isometric okay it is completed I'm going to choose the top of the, this rectangle 
Angular Cube, Rectangular Prism. I'm going to click the sketch. I'm going to click the top view. Now I'm going to use three point arc. Zoom. And let's start from here, this edge to this edge and complete it. Okay, now I want to use coincident constraint. You can just click here and click this line or this point. Now it is fully constrained automatically. Now finish the sketch and use the extrude. I'm gonna choose this entity and then when I go to isometric view so I want to extrude instead of uh, blind I'm gonna change it to up to face and zoom and up to face where to here actually okay it's better now I've completed isometric view it is completed now I want to make another hole here so I'm gonna use again remember sketch tool I'm gonna choose a click the face and I'm gonna click the top view and I'm gonna use the point so let's find the center of this arc okay this is the center it's completed so I'm gonna click and sketch and use the hole tool and choose this part since I used the M5 before it's automatically here but this time it's going to be countersink instead of M5 it will be M4 and instead of normal it's going to be close and we are gonna say okay and isometric view as you can see half of the part is completed now I'm gonna just use mirror tool here and I'm gonna choose the part itself and I need to choose the mirror plane so which is going to be this part and click OK it's completed since I finished the half part the other part is exactly the same, so it is completed. I just need to right click the part one again and assign material. I need to assign carbon steel. Carbon steel and click OK. Now, if you have this shape and when you click the mass properties, when you choose the part you made it. If you see 389.42 kilogram, it means it is correct. Have a good